Okay, so I hope you're all having a nice lunch. So I will do a small, quick um, lightning talk here as well. And I'm very nicely following uh, the trail we already have with those Bloxbergs topic and artifact topic and proof of existence topics. So um, we have a similar thing that's also leveraging uh, Bloxberg as a kind of proof of concept, small technology thingy. And um, our idea was to just have a small, easy integration with MATLAB, with MATLAB, the scientific programming environment and existing environment many scientists, researchers uh, are using. And we just thought, okay, how, la how might this proof of concept look like and would people be interested to use it and incorporate it in their existing workflows. Uh, yes, I'm here together with Dominic, he's sitting there, and um, we did this small thing together, and uh, we are both from the Institute for Internet Security. Um, it's an institute at the Westphalen University of Applied Sciences here in Germany, in Gelsenkirchen, and um, I'm leading the block blockchain uh, research group there, and we do all kinds of blockchain-related projects. So I will skip most of the more theoretical background stuff since we heard a lot about So um, we want to implement the, a proof of existence use case on the Bloxburg infrastructure. That's the basic idea. Of course, there is a history to it. There are certain publications talking about possible use cases in the scientific field where one might use such a proof of existence service. And the Bloxberg stuff, I can also just jump over it. And yeah, that's that's basically uh, it's the uh, architecture of the implementation. Pretty pretty simple. So the idea is you have uh, existing MATLAB projects, some MATLAB code. Then you are using our small MATLAB library we are providing, and this library will perform HTTP calls to the Bloxberg uh, REST API. And this is already has been deployed by the Bloxberg uh, team, by the Bloxberg infrastructure. And this REST API is then interacting with the smart contract in the Bloxberg network to perform the actual proof of existence stuff. And from a usability, usability uh, perspective, it's also pretty simple and since this um, REST API service is loaded with a full wallet, so it's, it's doing the transactions for you. You don't need your own wallet, you don't need any any tokens and so on. So it's for any users, it's just like using any other basic web service. All right, okay, and this is then how it would look in the actual source code. So we are, we are not uh, really MATLAB developers, so if there are any MATLAB developers, users here, and they would say, oh, the idiomatic way of MATLAB to build such an API would look like this, we would be very happy about feedback, but um, this was just the idea, to um, have, have some capabilities to directly integrate those proof of existence uh, call uh, use case into our actual research source code. So just you can certify any, any kind of data from within your MATLAB source code. Uh, right now it would be any kind of file. So maybe you had to have at one point some intermediary results or whatever, some MATLAB result file, then you would just call it in the certify data um, function. Um, of course, ideally, we um, would do uh, something more complex where we would also certify the current state of the MATLAB project with also the source code. This would be a nicer approach, but um, right now it's just this easy proof of uh, concept and we would be interested to see if people have any interest whatsoever to use something like this. And yeah, it's free to use, it's running on the Bloxberg infrastructure, so um, there is there's no, uh, yeah, no big investment to just try out to use it. And uh, yes, we just pu push it to, uh, to GitHub, uh, it's open source under MIT license, and anyone can check it out, try it out. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Of course, if there are any questions, you can also later come talk with me, or maybe some MATLAB lovers here who directly say, oh, yeah. <laughs> MATLAB is a commercial product. Would it also work with the open source products like Freenet or something like that? Uh, so our code, um, maybe it would work with GNU Octave, not sure. So I'm uh, not, not a big in the, in the MATLAB community, but we are having some Java code actually that does it since from uh, MATLAB you can directly use Java. 
So if it is a MATLAB, an open MATLAB implementation, it would directly work as a uh, drop-in. But also, since the actual implementation is so small, you can so easily do the same thing in any other programming environment or programming language, because in the end, it's just an HTTP call, since the REST API is already there. Thank you very much. And